out what's going on inside the regional medical center? Yeah, Stephanie, well, you heard Zanetta talk about how things are getting a little bit calmer out there in Collierville, and I would say the exact opposite is happening here at Regional 1. You can really feel the energy shifting. We are seeing a lot more law enforcement, a lot more medical officials, and a lot more ambulances come out here, drop off patients, and stage here on Jefferson. Um, just looking here right now, we can see Shelby County Fire. We can see Memphis Fire Department. We have Rural Metro ambulance and we have Germantown Fire Department. We just saw a couple more patients get unloaded from an ambulance in the loading dock here at Regional 1. And I don't know if we can go back over and just show how we have we have some and we've had several officials just waiting here on Jefferson. A few minutes ago there were a few other doctors wearing medical gowns and of course their masks and they seem to all be waiting for more patients to be coming in here, but there's definitely an air of, of seriousness and anticipation for more people that could be coming in. And you can just tell, you see two women hugging that are going in there, uh, perhaps related to some of the patients. And I've also seen some, what appear to me to be hospital uh, management staff, administrative staff, people standing outside the hospital wearing uh, more professional clothing. And so you really get the sense that this is an all hands on deck situation for the hospital. I'm not sure what's happening. It looks like there's a little bit of um, this woman and probably trying to get some information maybe about some family members. And then behind her there you see an ambulance with its lights on, um, with a stretcher out, almost like they're waiting for a patient. We do know we, we're hearing some helicopters overhead. We know that we were warned that there would be some helicopters landing. We are not allowed to move our vehicles. Um, this area in front of Jefferson is totally closed off to all vehicles. And so I, I think we're also, we're waiting to hear what the Collierville Chief has to say in, in a few minutes there to find out what the seriousness of these patients who have been brought in here, uh, what that really entails. April, Stephanie. And, and, and um, Stacy, you mentioned that um, family members probably arriving and we think of that, we talk about the ambulances coming and bringing the patients there and the helicopters um, landing there, but um, also loved ones of these individuals will probably be heading there as well and you may get a lot of emotion as they try to um, get close and be able to get in and to um, just find out from the doctors exactly what is going on. Um, I don't know if we will be able to get that briefing from some someone there at the med or maybe some of those local officials that are there from the different departments. But like you said, this is multi-agency. So we have a lot of different agencies that are um, kind of descending on the med as well, right? Yeah, as I mentioned, I see Memphis Fire Department, uh, Rural Metro Ambulance, Germantown, Shelby County Fire. It's, I know I've seen Memphis police officers here. It's hard to tell what law enforcement um, otherwise might be here other than Memphis police because I can see the Memphis police cars, but definitely ambulances from many different agencies. And Stacy, oh, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Um, this is happening at a time when the hospitals are already stressed uh, with COVID-19 patients. I know some of the hospitals were limiting uh, access to the hospital from various family members who would be visiting. So I imagine that a lot of people who would like to get in to see if they have a loved one who maybe has been brought there or to find out more about their conditions would not, um, maybe, maybe not be able to get inside the hospital to actually find that out. Do you see any? Um, um, any what looks like hospital personnel gathered out talking to what appears to be family at this time. Um, I'm not sure if you could see a few minutes ago when I alluded to there was a woman outside looking distressed and she was talking to hospital personnel. There are a few other I've seen some physicians that are wearing full gowns and then I've seen some administrative looking staff wearing suits and business clothing that have been out here too. But other than that one woman that we just saw in the, in the beginning of this, I haven't seen them talking to any family members that look distressed. But I, I, I also wanna say, Stephanie, what you just said is, is the first thing I thought of when we were unfortunately sent out here to cover this is that um, when hospitals reached high capacity a few weeks ago, this was part of the letter that a lot of the hospital chiefs sent to 
local officials begging them to reinstate an indoor mask mandate because they said we're so stretched thin right now we couldn't handle any kind of mass casualty event. Now we don't know yet the details of what this happened but that certainly has to play into the scariness of what could be going on in the hospital.